Hey my YouTubers, it's Michelle again. Hope everybody's had a wonderful day today. And hope everybody's keeping warm out there. I know that the sleet and snow is still lingering around and people's getting more of it. Um, thank goodness here in Virginia we do not have any, so it's awesome. Um, it is cold out there and I'm a very cold natured person. I have a heater stuck to my back 24 hours a day it seems like. But anyway, I wanted to do this. Uh, I'm going to call it my rant, as I say. Um, the other day, I was in Walmart, and I mentioned this to Jen the other day, and um, I thought maybe I could mention it to my YouTubers and let you guys tell me what you think on this note with my rant that I'm doing. I was in Walmart the other day, and it was uh, Johnny's birthday on the 11th, and um, I was in there getting birthday stuff that I needed for his birthday. And I was getting in line. Now, it was cold, so I had my big coat on. And I did have my gun on my hip. Well, because I do not have a concealed carry license, I cannot conceal my gun. So when I have my coat on, I have to either take it off or make sure that my gun is in plain sight. So normally I will take my coat and I will put it behind my gun and tuck it so that the gun is showing and it kind of looks like you're showing off your gun but that's not why I'm doing it. I'm doing it so that I don't get in trouble with the cops because they're in Walmart especially at Christmas time all the time you know and somebody may be smart enough to walk up and say hey you know you, you're concealing that where's your concealed carry license and if I say I don't have it then you know Lord only knows what's gonna happen and I just don't want no confrontation so anyway got all my shopping done got in line I had probably five, six, seven things in my buggy. And there was a lady behind me, and she had one item. So being the person I am, and being the nice person that I always am, I told her, I said, excuse me, ma'am. I said, but if you want to, you can go ahead of me. You've only got one item, and I've got a whole bunch of my buggy. And that lady, oh, she set fear. She just, not fear, but she set whatever she set up in me, it came up in me fast. But uh, anyway, she looked down straight at my gun, and she was, I know, at least three buggy lengths back behind me, and there was a line. There was probably five or six people behind her, because the lines were pretty long. And she said to me, she looked straight at my gun and pointed down and said, no, you go right on. She says, no, you go ahead. And she said it's so nasty to me. And it was all because I had a gun on my hip. It was like she was saying, I'm not getting close to you because you got a gun on your hip. And I've heard people in the past when you're standing in line and stuff and you got your gun on your hip. And mine's pink. It's bright pink. So you can't miss the crazy thing. And I am a woman, so I think that makes it ten times worse. But I've heard people whispering and saying, pss, pss, pss. Oh, she's got a gun. She's got a gun on her. You know, I don't go and fla flash my gun around. I don't go... I walk in there, do what I gotta do, and get out. I'm not studying on who's seeing my gun, why, you know, that I got a gun on my hip. I forget half the time I even got it there. But I know if I needed it, it's gonna be there. But it just kind of irked me that that woman uh, said it. She said it really loud, and everybody behind her was looking dead at me. And I just, she was an older lady. I, I want to say she was in her maybe late 50s, early 60s, and... I bit my tongue because I was I respect my elders. No matter what they do or say to me, I'm not going to be nasty. Uh, it's just the way I was raised, so I'm not going to do that. But it just irks me that that woman said what she did. I was trying to be nice and let her go in front of me so she could have got out a little bit quicker being the lines were backed up. And, um, you know, Walmart ain't the fastest place in the world when you're trying to buy stuff. But uh, I just want to wondered on some of you guys' thoughts if, you know if you want to add a comment how would you handle it if somebody done that to you how would you handle it I mean I know a lot of you say well man I'd go off and you know screw you I you know you just stand there and I'll go ahead and pay for my stuff and I'll be out way before you but I don't have that mentality about me I'm I'm just not that way but if somebody had if it had been a bad day for me i was having a good day because i was doing birthday stuff but if i was having a bad day now i might have took a, a a whole different direction in what i did with this woman but um it was just amazing how she just stood there and kind of pointed me out she says oh no you go on and that's the way she said it and it was like 
uh uh I'm not getting close to your gun I'm not getting close to you it was like I had the plague or something but anyway what I mean now that I've been running into that a little bit lately um not all the time but people giving me looks you can hear them whispering and stuff and I think it I think it's brought me down a little bit I'm not carrying my gun as much as I want to and where I want to carry it um like, you know, I went out today, I didn't have my gun on me. And I knew I'd left it at home. But it's gotten me where I'm kind of down and out about it because I get really tired of people, you know, whispering and get tired. I know they're going to do it, and I know that you got to, you know, deal with it if you're going to carry a gun. And I realize that, but how how do you deal with it? How would you deal with it? If someone done that to you, how would you deal with it? I mean, would you just brush it off and go on about your business, or would you turn around and there's a certain something that you would say to them or has it happened to you and this is what you've done um that's kind of my rant is that um I've, I've been coming across that and like i said i have a pink gun i have to put it out because i do not have my concealed carry which i'm working on i'm gonna do that real soon and plus two i'm a woman and i'm carrying a gun so what what would you guys do and how would you deal with it? And that's just my rant for today. And I'm sorry that I had to do a rant. But uh, I know if anybody can help me, it's you guys. Because you guys have always helped me to pass with a lot of stuff. So I just, um, I don't like being called out. I don't like to be put on the spot like that. I'm a very private person. I'm very quiet. And, and um, I, I just don't, I don't draw attention to myself or I try not to. And I don't try to get in confrontations with people. But if that woman had been my age or a little bit younger than what she was, I probably would have said some things that I probably would have regret saying. But I didn't because I respect my elders. And I've been taught that no matter what they do and say, you have to respect them. And so, anyway. So, you guys let me know what you think on that. And um, go check out a small channel and sub to them. Um, they need your help and your support, too, so you guys go do that. And uh, thank you guys, and just let me know. Maybe, in, I don't know, pick up my spirits about carrying my gun some more. Um, it kind of has brought me down a little bit. But you guys just let me know. Thank you, and you guys have a wonderful night. Bye.